Hey everyone, uh, here we are again for another travel tip video and I apologize that it's been a while since I've actually uh, recorded one. But I'm actually out of my office today and I'm in uh, Oklahoma City in Bricktown and at the Hampton Inn and Suites in Bricktown which I will tell you is the nicest Hampton Inn I've ever stayed at and I can highly recommend it to anybody that might be coming through the Oklahoma City area. Uh, Oklahoma City has grown a lot in the last uh, several years and is home to an NBA team and is really uh, making its its uh, mark here in the uh, Midwest. So uh, if you're ever coming through Oklahoma City, you want to see an NBA basketball game, etc., uh, it's the p place where they play is right near Bricktown. And uh, I would definitely stay here at the Hampton Inn Suites. But that's not what this video is about. I want to address uh, cruises. And I'm going to basically start out by making this the first step in selecting a cruise process. And uh, this will help you uh, if you make this very first decision you will then be able to move on to the next several decisions that you'll need to make when it comes to booking a cruise and it will help your travel agent out like me if you were to use uh, my services or any travel agent, agent you might be using it will help them in helping you find the right cruise if you'll just help them uh, narrow down this one uh, key step uh, if you go out on the internet and search cruises you're going to see a ton of variety uh, out there and it can be very overwhelming so here's why I say this is really the first critical step how long do you want to go on a cruise? Do you want to take a three or four day cruise? Do you want to take a seven day cruise, 14 day cruise, two week cruise? I mean, more, more than two week cruise. Uh, your options are wide open. Now, I will tell you that if you want to take a three or four day, five day cruise, uh, that really narrows things down because one, you just can't go that far or to that many ports in a uh, fewer days so that limits you usually to a very short Western Caribbean cruise which a lot of times will sail out of New Orleans, Galveston, uh, Miami, etc. that may go to uh, Cozumel, have a couple days at sea and then turn around and go home. Or it might uh, be a Bahamian cruise which again leaves out of Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, Miami, etc. that goes to places like Nassau or Grand Bahamas and uh, and then maybe goes to, to the cruise line's private island and then turns around and uh, goes home. So once you narrow down how long you want to be on your vacation, if you want a three, four, five day vacation or if you want a week or longer, that's really going to help uh, your decision in, in uh, which cruise to take and which cruise line. Uh, the shorter day cruises have their pros and cons. A lot of times it's really just down to budget and uh, and how long you you can actually take off work or, or be away from home and uh, that really uh, determines a lot of times for those that want to take the shorter cruises. Some want to take a shorter cruise because they've never been on a cruise before and they're a little unsure how they're going to react to being on a ship out, in, out at sea so they don't want to uh, tie themselves down to a week and understand that. So there's your first step. How long do you want to be on vacation? If you say three, four days, five days, there's lots of options for you and, uh, and there's year-round options for you as far as those go. Uh, you're a little limited again to potential cruise lines and uh, ports that you're going to see as well as even ports that you're going to sell out of but but still you have a lot of options to go and honestly if you look around and you see these big specials or somebody's going to advertise a two hundred ninety nine dollar uh, total cruise cost trip etc and that's their lead in advertising to get you to call them chances are that's for a specific cruise and also for a very short cruise uh, if it is a longer cruise again that's for a very specific cruise, cruise date, and a specific cabin or stateroom on the cruise. So uh, that, that might help you if you see one of those specials and, and uh, think you want to jump on it. Usually there's a lot of uh, things tied to that, and I can help you understand that later. But anyway, for, this, for the sake of this video, understand your biggest decision right off the bat is how long do you want to be and then on vacation. And then us, the professionals that you might use or myself can help you understand uh, your options as far as that go and then even then I'll go on to explain the different cruise lines and staterooms and things like that so that's step one uh, as we get into these videos I'm going to start doing a whole series on cruises since cruises are becoming more and more popular uh, the cruise industry is still growing even through our recession uh, I've booked a lot of cruises uh, in the past year for people so I know that even during tough times people still want to get away and the cruises are a very affordable way to, to go on a very very fun and nice vacation so let this be step one uh, my next uh, video in this series will address uh, the cruise lines and then we'll get into specifics in uh, video three and four as far as stateroom selection 
and uh, other costs you need to consider. So thanks again for watching, and uh, please leave comments, questions, and I'll be sure to answer them in these upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.